Each element has its own atomic symbol that you will find on the periodic table. For example, magnesium has the symbol Mg. So when we're writing magnesium in equations, we would write capital M, lowercase g. Iron has the symbol Fe, capital F, lowercase e, and calcium has the symbol Ca. And for non-metals, for example, oxygen has the atomic symbol O, chlorine, the symbol is capital C, lowercase l, and hydrogen, the symbol is capital H. In this video, we're going to look at how we write the chemical formulae when these atoms bond together to make molecules or compounds. A chemical formula is a set of chemical symbols showing the elements present in a compound or molecule. For example, we would write the chemical formula for sodium fluoride as NaF. The Na will show the sodium and the F will show fluorine is present and this makes sodium fluoride. We could show the elements present in glucose for example using a chemical formula. The chemical formula for glucose is C6H12O6. This shows us that it contains carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and these numbers also show us that there's more than one atom of each element present. For example, there's six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. We only write these numbers when there is more than one atom of each element. We can also write chemical formula for molecules. For example, oxygen is O2, and chlorine is Cl2. So what do the numbers tell us? Well, let's take H2O for example. There is number two by the hydrogen, and there is no number by the oxygen. This is because we don't write in the number one. So having no number tells us that there is just one atom of oxygen in this compound. So we have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So when they're bonded together, it might look something a little like this. Let's take CO2 as another example. This chemical formula shows us that CO2, carbon dioxide, has one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. So when they bond together, the molecule may look something like this. We can use these chemical formula to write symbol equations. For example, we could write a word equation for the reaction of magnesium with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. But if we were to write a symbol equation, we can write it using chemical formulae to show that magnesium is reacting with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. In another example, you can see that calcium plus oxygen would make calcium oxide, and we can write this in terms of its chemical formulae. And a final example, iron plus chlorine would make iron chloride. So as a symbol equation, we can write it out using its chemical formulae. So I'm going to go through now some common endings for chemical formulae, which will help you to name them. So if you ever see SO4, that means sulfate. If you see CO3 in a chemical formulae, that means carbonate. NO3 means nitrate. OH means hydroxide. And if you ever see a chemical formula that ends in a single element, like oxygen, fluorine, or chlorine, then the name of the chemical formulae will end in ide. For example, oxide, fluoride, or chloride. Let's look at some examples now. If we were to name this chemical formula, we would have a look at the metal in front, which is calcium, and we look at SO4, which we've just learnt, means sulphate. So this would be called calcium sulphate. The next chemical formula, we look at the metal, 
and on the periodic table, if we looked up Na, that would be called sodium. And together with CO3, this compound would be called sodium carbonate. KNO3, the K stands for potassium, and with NO3, that would make potassium nitrate. K for potassium, with OH, which stands for hydroxide, would make potassium hydroxide. Mg for magnesium and Cl for chlorine would be called magnesium chloride, ending in ide. Li for lithium and Br for bromine would be called lithium bromide. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.